It's time for Galak today on Walking the Candy Isle. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff, and today I have a review for you of Nestle's Galak. Galak Speculos, to be specific. Um, so Galak is a is a bar, a white chocolate Nestle bar that's been sold for quite a while in um, in Europe and uh, overseas. You know, just in general, sort of. Places around the world, Australia and New Zealand, as well as, you know, of course, the UK. But, uh, but people might know it uh, in some of those countries as the Milky Bar. So this is essentially the Milky Bar. Um, it's uh, just Nestle's white chocolate bar. And they have a couple different variety, varieties of it. Um, I know they have a, a, a one with a puffed rice in it. Um, but this is the Speculos, which is shortbread, essentially, which is like a shortbread biscuit, which you would see right there. Um, and so this is sold as Galak. Milky bars are sold as Galak in most of continental Europe and then like Brazil and places like that. Um, not a ton to say about it. It's pretty straightforward. Other than that, it is uh, it is chocolate made with 100% uh, pure uh, cocoa butter. Well, the cocoa that's in it is 100% pure pure obviously this is not 100% <laughs> pure cocoa butter but there is real cocoa butter in this um without artificial flavoring uh of note in the you know i read online that in australia and, and um the uk and not the uk in australia and new zealand on the milky bars they don't it is not made with that pure pure stuff so kind of interesting galac um that it's i don't know why they just wouldn't call it the milky bar i would think that that would translate all right in most places, but, um, you know, oh, well, not a huge deal. Speculos seems, uh, seems like a specific kind of shortbread cookie. That's like a biscuit that, uh, is mostly eaten around, um, sort of the St. Nicholas feast sort of time frame. Anywho, uh, I was watching some ads for Galak online. It was pretty funny. So they, um, while well, the Milky Bar always had the Milky, what is it called? The Milky Kid or Milky Bar Kid or something. Um, Galak used, um, for a long time, used this, uh, used the, the likeness of this sort of 70s cartoon series. I think it was a Dutch cartoon or a French cartoon about, uh, the white, about the white dolphin. Translated as Zoom the white dolphin, but as Om the white dolphin. It smells okay. It smells, it smells like shortbread, actually. Um, and, uh. And it's funny that sort of there's like all these commercials of like this white dolphin and these kids, very like early 80s, late 70s style animation. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, they foil crime and uh, stop the, the, you know, the, the pirates and the bad guys at sea. And they, there's a Galak bar somehow involved. Um, like they'll use it to reflect the sun's rays to blind the pirates or something. And then they'll end up feeding, uh, the kids will end up giving, like, good job, um, and then they'll give them some, uh, some Galak bar. I gotta think, giving a dolphin, um, chocolate bar? Probably a bad idea. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Galak bar. I'm sorry, I, that was a tangent. Uh, pretty straightforward. It says Nestle on the front there. You can see it's got the shortbread in it right there. Let's have a bite. Well, um, hmm. sorry, I just wanted to get a little bit more. <laughs> it is, um, it's not bad. It's actually kind of a mild white chocolate. And you know, if you guys have watched some of my reviews, you might have seen whenever I do white chocolate, I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. It's not really real, you know, um, and uh, and it just doesn't do it for me. So I, I, I don't really go out of my way to get it. I know that there are those fanatics out there who love white chocolate. So, you know, good for you. Um, for my taste, though, this um, is just all right white chocolate. I feel like if you're a white chocolate fan, you probably want like serious white chocolate. And I don't know that this is it. This tastes pretty mild to me. Um, which, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. This is a mass-produced Nestle product. Like, you know, 
it's not going to be as good as something you get at your local chocolatier, artisan chocolatier, you know. Um, it's okay. I like the shortbread pieces in it. Those are really good. I actually would like to get some shortbread right now. I probably shouldn't eat too many of these. Um, it's a little um, rich, but not in a nice, like, my, my <laughs> you know, I, I was just thinking of the, um, probably the last white chocolate I was eating was uh, the Lindt, um, Lindor white chocolates. And um, it's so very, very different than that. <laughs> Whereas those are super creamy, buttery white chocolate. This is just kind of, um, you know, middle of the road. It's certainly not bad. You know how, especially cheap chocolates can get kind of like chalky or um, pasty even. This isn't that. It's fine. Um, but this is not nothing that's going to knock your socks off, I don't think. That said... Um, this, the speculos version of this, I think is pretty good. I haven't tried any other versions, but I definitely would get this again, in, as opposed to, like, just the straight, plain Galak bar. Um, or, I don't know, maybe the rice one. Actually, I'd like to try the rice one, but this does a pretty good job of it. I think, basically, my takeaway is that, for some people, this is going to be good. It's going to be just what they're looking for, um, especially because it's probably pretty readily accessible, you know, if you're in a market that sells it. Um, however, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not something that I'm going to be getting, um, even if it was around in my market. I think I would probably pass on it. Just it's not for me. But um, for some people, it's fine. You know, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate the Galax Speculos. I'm going to rate it a 3 out of 5. It's certainly not bad. I mean, it's fine. But um, I think if you're in the market for this, you might be in the market for something uh, like on another level, um, which I expect, at least in most urban centers, you would be able, you'd be able to find. And especially if you're in continental Europe, like, you know, if you're somewhere in Switzerland... There's no reason you're not going to be able to find some amazing artisan chocolate somewhere. So that's my take. Um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you've had the Galak or if you are a Milky Bar fan. And uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.